Takeover Tuesday at Cash Chat Snap, and today we're going all the way to Germany. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein? Well, I don't, I don't speak German either, so don't worry about it. Uh, Phil speaks great English, so, you know. Um, welcome back to Cash Chat Snap. High five! High five back. Thank you for having me again, uh, Greg. Of course, as you know, my name is Philip. Uh, you can find me at Chicago Online. Uh, last time I was here, we talked about we talked about time, but today we're going to talk about money. And what better place to talk about money than our local grocery shop? One of the traits of our economic system is TMI, Target Monthly Income. And TMI is the sum of all your expenses. So like all of this stuff right here. So for this example, let's just say your target monthly income is 3K. That's exactly how much everything costs for you. I want to share three models that hopefully illustrate a principle of how to cover everything you got. But before we get there, let me ask you, how do most people make money? Either they have a job and they have a salary, uh, they want to try uh, additional jobs, or or you give it a shot at e-commerce and decide to sell something online. Whatever it is, you got to make 3,000K every month. Here's the, here's the examples. Let's say the first thing you can sell is, let's say you're a rapper and you want to make a CD, right? And a CD you'll end up selling for about $9.99. Well, that would mean that you, that'll end up being that you'll have to sell a total of 301 CDs every month. A whole bunch of units. Yeah. A medium yield product could be like a G-Shock. You guys remember those uh, watches? A G-Shock watch. Those goes for about 80 bucks. That means that you only actually have to sell about, what is it, 37, 39, 38 units. So that's less amount of units that you have to sell each month, right? The third example would be like if you want to sell iPhones. Oh, I don't know how to write iPhones. Those are about 600 bucks, right? That means you need a total of five. What I'm trying to illustrate is that ultimately what you sell will be equivalent to the effort you'll have to put in to be able to meet your TMI. So that not Now if you're intimidated by math, please don't. A mentor of mine told me once, if you can count up to 10, you're good. But here's the thing, don't let the uh, amount required to meet your TMI stop you. If you can make two, three, four, ten 10 times as much as your TMI, that means you got 10 it's a very simplified example, so I want you to remember things like, you know, talk to, to an accountant properly, uh, take into consideration inflation, a whole bunch of other stuff. But, uh, and of course, you have to know your TMI. So do you keep track of your expenses? If you do, uh, good on you. If you don't, maybe you need some help. Swipe up, send me a message. Greg, now take it away. High five, yeah, all right, ow, that hurt. Um, you're strong. Uh, make sure you screenshot this snap and follow him back, Phil, at Cowglow. And stay tuned later this week. We're going to have more stories here. And in the meantime, I'm heading over to Instagram Live for The Daily Dish, talking money while I do my dishes. And Phil, thanks again for that fantastic takeover. Quality of product over quantity is something you really got to consider when you're selling stuff online.